Hi guys, you're welcome. My name is MC D I B E N J A. Call me MC Dibenja, and this is Dibenja Challenges, where we bring those change makers in the society who are trying to bring a change in their various fields of life. While I talk to you, I let you know the change I'm bringing. So today is not different. Our guest for today, he is trying to bring an innovation in the movie industry I, by creating a distribution platform. He's no other person than Achieve Victor. He's a CEO and Chief Executive Officer for Dav Links. It's a new Cambodian streaming platform, and you all, if you haven't visited it, you are wasting. A lot of time. Just go down to www.daplings.com and watch amazing movies. But first, let's start to achieve Victor and see what he has for us. Hey guys, welcome back. And like I told you, our guest is here. He is Achieve Victor, the CEO, Chief Executive Officer of Daft Links. And you know what Daft Links is all about. I mean, we need to watch a lot of Cambodian movies. We need to watch these films that we are, we are, our filmmakers are making. Not just make the films that keep them in the combat. So Achieve Victor is breaking the boundaries to come up with a distribution platform that flings. Now, I'm out of the day. Baba? Yeah, man. Afa. I'm okay, bro. I, I, I want to come on a teacher. I forget to say teacher. <laughs> <laughs> I want uh, to come on a teacher, but I want to focus on a teacher. How far now, Baba? How's life? Man, I'm good. Thank God for, for growth, bro. So, who is Achieve Victor? I, I, I possibly probably don't probably know who Achieve Victor is, but my guys want to know who Achieve Victor is. Let me yeah. just look at them and then tell them who Achieve Victor is. Um, okay, uh, Achieve Victor basically is a filmmaker, um, a distributor, a teacher, like what well, like they just said, and a uh, screenwriter. Yeah, so that's Achieve Victor. And also a very passionate person about uh, education. That's who Achieve Victor is, but it, it, it takes someone who is very passionate. I, used, I always say these things. It takes someone who is very passionate about something to go to the extent that you're going into. First of all, there is, there is the lack of finance to produce films. Yeah. Now, you come in as a very young man, coming to the fact that you're coming up with a distribution platform. To have a distribution platform, you need to have money to acquire films. Yeah. What what inspired you to come up with something like that? Um, basically, um, I'm a dreamer. Dreams are valid. Yeah, and <laughs> <laughs> dreams are valid, bro. <laughs> and just like every other every other dreamer or let me say filmmaker, I don't want to limit uh, every other artist. Yeah, they want to make they want to make a living out of their craft. Yeah, and as a, as a person that sees uh, problems that need solution, right? So um, I think I'm a solution. Gira, yeah, provider. yeah, yeah, to to certain problems. So I saw that a lot of people are trying their best to to make sure that the Cameroon film industry has a global exposure in terms of marketing. Yeah, but it's not enough because there are just few of them, and uh, we are we didn't have something that we could hold on to, just like this platform. Uh, uh, there are millions of people out of the country that support the film industry, and they don't have access to watch, watch these the films. films. So having something that they could watch this, they could lean back on and watch this film like Daflings, it's it's I think it's a plus for them and for us Cameroonians. I'm, I mean, it's gonna be a thing of joy for me it's for for somebody per se to produce a short film and then is making money from the short yeah. film through Daflings. Daflings. That's what I'm looking at. You even if you don't have the budget to produce a Netflix film, perhaps yeah. you could start with Daflings, yeah. Daflings before Daflings get to the level where Netflix is at. Yes. Yeah. I was about to ask you something. Now, just as Netflix, mm. does Daflings have a particular some particular criteria that we say, okay, these are some of the criteria to get your movie on that of that on Daflings, some criteria that you need to follow. For example, that Daf Netflix has when it comes to technicalities, when it comes to the story, when it comes yeah. to those things they're looking at. You no, know, the kind of camera you use, the sound and everything. So what are some of the criteria that I can get my movie on that link. Okay. Um, first things first, to get your movie on that link is totally free. Just okay. if you're a filmmaker and you want to reach out to that link, it's totally free. And uh, we have very relaxed criteria compared to Netflix that has a complex uh, because a lot of people reach out to them for films. But then right now we're still reaching out to filmmakers and we want to keep the the criteria as very relaxed as possible yeah but basically if we look we are looking at films that have good image quality have good stories um have good sound good lighting and of course good performance yes so if you are able to have a good film then that thing is good we, we are in a country where it is difficult for us to believe in our own yeah yeah because i've, I've seen that we we tend to believe something when it's out of cameroon 
Yeah. Most Cameroonians do that. Yeah. I am no 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 hard feelings though, but that's the truth. That's the truth. So how do you how do you get how do you plan on connecting these filmmakers? Because I I I visited the website. You know, I, the kind of the filmmaker, the films I saw on the website already mm. are films that like say close people around you. Yeah. And we have some of these filmmakers who are considered A listers who have been doing films way back and they have content, they have enough content that I can actually start naming films that we have not seen them on platforms. Mm. So what are some of the difficulties you have faced when it comes to contacting these producers? Um uh, I must tell you that it's quite hard. And uh the truth is that everybody knows why they're doing their film. Yeah. And you can only approach people with your, your marketing objective. But then they, their film might have a marketing plan. Um, I've reached out to a handful of them. Uh, people like Stephanie Tum already, they, 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 we are talking very well. Mm. And uh, of course, Seven Bango is a very, very big film. big film. So to have it on Daflings already, Daflings need to prove its worth. It's worth. I cannot argue the fact that a lot of people still do not believe in Dufflings because Dufflings still needs to prove that it's it's worth having their films having their on the film. platform. Yeah. So I don't I don't judge filmmakers based on that. So that's why I keep working every day. What what we're bringing up, I think it's gonna move them more. Okay. Yes, because the app is already eighty percent done. So I think with the app, it's gonna be better. Yeah, I mean, I mean, the app is gonna be accessible and everything because not everybody will want to do the www.dufflings thing to go mm. to go get films and stuff. Mm. So now. Now, when did you actually come up with this idea? And you, as somebody who is a young filmmaker, I thought you could just maybe use your money that you had to, 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 to you know, uh, continue producing films. Maybe you, you write your films to produce them and stuff. Yeah. Why getting into distribution? Like, how long has it been? And what is the reason? Like, there should be a particular reason why you're getting into distribution. Okay, um, I'll tell you. I, I come up with this idea in 2018. Yeah. It was still an idea. And just like every other idea that I always have, I give it time. Yeah. I think about it every day. For it to grow. Yes. For it to go, to make sure that I'm fully ready for ready the for idea. It. So in 2020, I decided that, okay, I'm, this is what I'm going to do. So the, my motivation behind uh, uh, Darflings is that I, I, I did a lot of films and I really did not know how to market them. To market them. And... Uh, things are changing technology is taking over everything people are getting more digital so let me build something that Cameroonians will embrace yeah. even if not now in future they'll be digital and they'll have I'll have something that they could lean back on and watch films and the platform is accumulating films that we're doing now maybe sometime five years from now people will get to still watch those films that were produced back yeah. like it's difficult to get a film like Munamoto to watch. Yeah. But Munamoto is one of the biggest films that Cameroon has and ever produced. produced. You understand? So, after in 2020, I thought about it and then I decided, okay, this is what I'm going to do. Um, a lot of people advised that I should start, I should build the app and stuff like that. But I knew that it's a step at a time. time. So, I started with the website to see how it was going to go. But the, 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 um, the progress is is okay yeah yes i'm contented i know that it's not gonna be boom of course yes and uh, i don't depend on uh, people pity party for support yes i believe that if you must support the platform the platform should give you reasons, reasons to, support to support the platform. platform not that you're supporting the platform because it's a cheer victor is a filmmaker yeah. or is uh, one of the first streaming platforms in cameroon. cameroon support the platform because you want to watch cameroon films yeah. that's the objective and filmmakers should come to Dufflings because they want to make money. And that's why Dufflings takes just 25% out of whatever is being made. I mean, that, 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 that's great. Yeah, so the filmmaker keeps uh, 75%. But that's because right now, we don't buy content. Yeah. We don't buy content. But in future, in two years, we'll be buying content. And the terms are going to change. Yeah. Of course. The terms are going to change. So, that's... Do you look at creating partnerships with producers you know so that you can you can you can say okay now in, in, as you want to produce this project you want to do this project i'm going to be partnership with you i am this project for example netflix is partnership with 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 some with producers and stuff they have they have deals with signing producers they buy content and stuff are you looking towards getting partnership with some young producers that you can come together and maybe do films that are strictly a deafening films just the way netflix do it 
Okay, I'll tell you something. Um, it's very expensive to build this platform. I mean, the dream. Yeah. It's a very expensive thing to do because probably um, the most the most difficult part of this thing is marketing. Yeah. And to tell you the truth, I am not looking at that at the moment because I'm still building. Okay. Yes. That thing is still at the development. Yeah. We, we are realizing the dream. Yeah. Yeah. So once the dream is is being realized and then we are good to go we'll dive into that but for now i'm not uh, open for any collaborations okay because i'm still alone okay i want to bring something on the table and throw it all right this is what i have these are shares let's let's pe let people buy shares yeah you get the point or oh, i need investors so people would actually believe that okay this guy brought something on the table let me not talk Say, I need your money when yeah, I have nothing have to show, nothing for, to show it. for You understand? Yeah. So the app will be ready. And that has been on me from scratch. Yeah. And it's super expensive. So once I have everything ready, okay, I bring investors. Probably if we somebody can invest like 10 million, I think it could take us a very long way. Because I have a plan already mapped out. I have a business plan that takes me five years from now. So I think that... All right, guys, uh, you know what it is. Let's have a break and we come back. We have to talk more with Achieve Victor, the CEO of Daflinks. And if you haven't visited the website yet, you should go visit www.daflinks.com. The app is on its way and you are going to be amazed at amazing Cambodian movies that you haven't watched yet because you think Cambodians don't do movies. Trust me, they are movies. We'll be right back. Hi guys, and welcome back. This is the Venture Challenges, and we still have our guest here with us. His name is actually Victor. If you're just joining us, please just stay put because he had a lot to say. He has to tell us, you know, five months to never get get chap. He laughed. So now, take us, take us through your your filmmaking career. Okay. Yeah. I mean, there was this, there was this, there's this movie of yours. It's like a shot, or it's like it's a, it's it's, it's a beginning of a series. How do you call it? Is yeah, hand job. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we 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 the, we talk about filmmaking, right? Mm. I look at I look at making movies as something that people can relate to easily, yeah. Yeah. and people can get to say, okay, fine. I remember there's one thing about this thing that I remember, and immediately we watched the hand job. I mean, back back because guys, we were in the big two to seven together. Sure. So so I we we kept talking about hand job because of what we watch and the, the connection or the in relation to our society what's going on so tell us tell us about your filmmaking career um okay i started filmmaking in 2012 yeah. i started off as an actor yeah that was well the truth is i joined the film industry out of frustration oh okay yes and uh, this is because i was playing football professionally at that time mm -hmm. i was playing the third division at that time and then each time i come back from training i'm very bored but basically, I did literature in school, so I have an arts background. So when I come back from training, I'm bored. So there was this one day I uh, met a friend. I went to visit a friend, and he said he was going for rehearsals. So that was how I went to, for rehearsals. And then all right, so, like, so they do these things in Cameroon. I was surprised that, in, yeah, it, <laughs> seriously, yeah, I was surprised that um, we did those things in Bamenda. Yeah, so I decided to go and join them as an actor but somewhere along the line the 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 ceo of that production house capsala michael mm -hmm. at that time told me that no i'm better off as a director I sh that is where i should uh, learn more so that was where i tilted from acting to directing so from there i directed my first uh, feature film in 2015 a war with the gods okay. <laughs> then i'm laughing because it's not a film for anybody to watch i mean it's my first film so <laughs> <laughs> it's, just, it's, not, it's not really good but then, watch it. <laughs> it was it was a classroom for me then i moved on to direct uh my uh, second uh, my if my first short film manka okay yeah. manka yeah and then i directed torment and then now i now decided to study some more then in 2019 i directed uh, missing missing yeah. which i consider my uh the jackpot break break breakthrough project yeah that took me across africa nigeria yeah i really went to nigeria i learned a lot connected a lot uh, because of missing and of course it's that like, uh, missing won a lot of awards in cameroon and in, and indonesia. indonesia thank you so um what happened i wrote missing and directed missing 
and then from missing i now picked hand job okay yes hand job the same person that produced missing is the co-producer of hand job so when i was sent the script of hand job i was talking about masturbation and these things and i was like these these are things that people are scared to talk about. Do you understand? I was thinking of how I can bring this thing on screen, on screen. and let people relate to. Yeah. So I took the script. Uh, I spoke with the producer because the producer gave me the story. So I had to restructure and screenplay, and then that is then we have what you 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 saw. Yeah. Of course, hand job is on YouTube. If you type hand job by Achieve Victor, you watch it. So we had hand job shot, and then I've developed the first season of hand job. So we want to like what you're saying that is something that you relate to i think the season, first season of hand job is more relatable okay. like everybody can relate to it from comedians and just to just to shock everybody that he's a cast in hand job so so before we went into the big brother house yeah we had intentions of shooting the season one of hand job yeah so but then you know things are changing people are learning so we constantly are upgrading in terms of production value yeah. so and that's why the production is still on the pipeline because we're planning a lot yeah to give it like if you watch hand job on youtube it's it's a masterpiece and in terms of image sound everything yeah, is yeah, top of course, notch. Of course. so we want to maintain that same quality so that's it so but now i'm working a lot of projects i've worked on a lot of projects as production manager continuity person team, yeah. as director so that's it so what what's the way forward for you after all this like what's the way forward for achieve it i mean what's the way forward okay i um i'm a very focused person okay yes i picked uh what i want and i stay on my lane i'm a film director and uh, now i'm adding distribution to it because i feel like there was this, uh, there, there is an honest problem that we need to solve there are there are there are there are other big big brothers and big sisters in the industry that are doing an amazing job like francois along mm -hmm. francois along she's doing an amazing job for cameroon uh so Agbo Gibet, he's doing an amazing job and a host of others that are trying to make sure that our films go global do you understand just in that, that brenda, brenda Elong, who yeah. has a distribution thank you yeah. yeah so just like them that is what i want to to to, to do instead of trying to uh get these people out there which is difficult for everybody let's get the ones we can get globally and then but then we still we have see, cameroonians so we, that will lean back we, on that yes, yeah. for a certain amount of time yeah in future because right now what is happening is a lot of nigerians are submitting films to daflings okay but we are not accepting foreign films on daflings at the moment because we have zambians uh, botswanians yeah. submitting films but then we won Cameroon films for, on Dufflings for five years straight. Okay. So, because we want to ca promote the Cameroon mm. film industry. I mean, I mean that's, that's great. It's not all about, about uh, distribution, but it's mm. about distributing Cameroonian content. Distributing Guys, Cameroonian that's, content. that's that's a great yeah. one, man. Yeah, so I, I think that's it. So, I'm adding my voice to the people I've mentioned. Yeah. And then, my uh, directing career is still there. So, I'm working on a lot of projects right now. So, how is, how is your wife? How is your wife coming up? Yeah. The whole thing? How is she supporting you? The whole thing? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm just joking. Thank so you. Saying, you. <laughs> I was not joking. <laughs> I was not joking. Uh, so, you know, because I'm not married, but I have a girlfriend. Okay. Yeah. She'll she be part of you. Of I course. mean, she's very part of you. And she's very supportive. What's her name? I'm going to say, bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro, bro. <laughs> it's not like I can't call the name, but this are the girlfriend. I don't want people to, to search my girlfriend <laughs> and start disturbing her. That's no, we're well, telling Patricia, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you are the girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> my god, thank you very much for coming to the show, bro. Uh, it's right. great. I mean, we said. Because while they're on the show, we try to talk to everybody that is trying to make a change in whatever they're doing. Be right. entertainment, entrepreneurs and everything. What you're doing to bring a change, we try to bring you on the show to talk to you and see what we can do to support the movement you're doing. So you are doing a very great job. Patricia Nivola and the rest, you guys keep supporting him to do, <laughs> to do, a, good, to do a good job. So how can we contact Achieve Victor? Um, Achieve Victor, I'm Achieve Victor on all platforms. Okay. On all social media platforms, I'm Achieve Victor. Okay. And... Um, you can write me directly uh six seventy eight nine eight 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 four yeah directly you can write now, quick one before you go yeah. i i almost forgot this one but now what 
is a word out there for investors because there are people who might who might want to invest on Darflings, mm -hmm. but they might, they might think that you are not at the moment accepting investors or they might just feel like maybe this guy is not looking for investors he already has investors mm -hmm. so if can we you can use this platform now to maybe sell it there send a message out to, okay now fine guys this is it yeah Darflings is we're open so let us know okay great um that's a very very important question because the truth is Darflings needs investors but then the, i am not open for them to come in now because i want to prove to them that Darflings is worth investing on okay yes because um the last time i checked the system i'm in the side yeah Darflings has a daily visit of 300 persons that like, there were 300 persons assess the site every, every day, day. So it's I think it's a it's a good start. It's a good start. And with the coming of the app, I think that with a good marketing uh, uh, program, we could get about two thousand subscribers maybe in one week or something, yeah. depending on how. Uh, but then I want to get the app ready. Once I get the app ready, now all right, I will need investors to come and invest in something that will now give return on their investment. Because right now I'm just putting my money with no hopes of getting any return on investment now. But I know in future I will. So I will be open to investors once the app is ready, and of course I will open shares for people to buy. All right, guys. Now we are going to be open to investors once the app is ready. <laughs> As you all, thank you for coming to the show. Thank you very much. We are always open every time you can pass by. Mm. Hi, guys. It's been so amazing talking to this young man with big dreams. Dreams are valid. I mean, dreams definitely, are valid, dreams yeah. are valid. Yeah, dreams are valid. So see you next time. My name is MC D I B E N J, and don't forget subscribe. If you don't, I don't know what you are, what you gain. Like seriously. <laughs> anyway, if you subscribe, I'll subscribe for you to watch movies of that. Mm. Do it. Do it now. Yeah, you. <laughs> bye bye.